Hey Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Sierra and I'm back with another video. This video is going to be regarding the energy around your love life at the time of you watching this video. So that means whenever you come across this video, whenever you decide to watch it, this should resonate with you around that time. This is something that should be going on around that time or you may find out shortly after watching this video um, that things are starting to resonate with you. So if it doesn't resonate, that's perfectly fine. You may want to check out the readings for one of your other signs. We have our sun sign, our moon sign, our rising sign. And when it comes to love, we have a Venus sign as well. So if you know your placements, feel free to check out the readings for your other signs. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We are starting off with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so aces are typically good cards to get in the deck. It basically means a new opportunity, um, clarity coming in, obstacles being removed, um, blockages being re removed out of your way. So it's typically something good. So that's good to start off with, not to mention pentacles. Um, when it comes to love, a lot of the times money and financial stability plays a big role in relationships. Um, it has been one of the major causes of issues in marriage uh, besides a few other things, okay? But a lot of the times money is involved. So let's see where we're going with this Ace of Pentacles. We also have the High Priestess. What I'm noticing right away is the Ace of, or the Pentacle sticks out on this card. Now, when it comes to the High Priestess, um, all of the elements are usually included in the card. So you do have the swords, the cups, the wand, but the pinnacle speaks or stands out. So what I'm showing is you could be dealing with someone or you may have someone into your life or want to date you and they may have one of the elements that you need to make your relationship successful. So they may have money, for example, but they may be slacking or lacking in other areas. So we need love, we need money, we need affection. When I'm saying we, I'm not saying we all need these things, but for the most part in relationships, you know, love is an element, affection, money, finances, um, family, the way you treat one another, the way you, whatever your love language is. So I'm showing you might be dealing with somebody that doesn't have enough of what you would need in order to make the relationship successful also the high priestess speaks to the need to pay attention to your intuition pay attention to the signs that you're getting there you have access to some information or you're going to be gaining access to some information so your spirit guides could be trying to tell you something or they could be trying to point you in the direction of the person that is going to have enough of the elements that you're going to need. So let's just keep going and see what we get. Okay, so I'm showing the Nine of Cups. Okay, that's a great card to get when it comes to anything. Okay, it's one of the wish cards in the deck. It speaks about abundance. It speaks about a fulfillment, um, having pretty much more than what you need. So you have more than enough, okay? And what I'm noticing, there are two sunflowers here. So I'm just thinking about being equally yoked, especially with the two of cups here. This speaks to mutual love. Um, both parties putting into the relationship um, to make sure that it's working. And, and one person is, you know, not trying to make it work. And the other one is kind of just sitting back, not really doing anything, not um, doing anything to help move the relationship forward. So I'm showing for some of you, um, as far as your love life, you are going to be meeting someone who is equally yoked with you. And if you are not with that person right now, if you're with somebody and you're wondering, is this the person? Is this the person for me? What I'm getting is, do you think they're equally yoked? 
Do you feel like they have enough of what you need? Do you feel like they're putting in just as much work as you are? Is this a mutual situation, mutually beneficial? Or is it one person is benefiting more than the other constantly? I'm not talking about okay sometimes this person is putting in more work but sometimes this person is putting in more work okay we all have ebbs and flows ups and downs but i'm talking about are you constantly finding that you seem to be putting a lot more into the situation than the other person is so if you're wondering if the person you're with is the person for you then you kind of need to start thinking about the effort that they're putting in versus the effort that you're putting in then we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Justice card. So what I'm getting here is you are supposed to be, you're going to get back what you put out. Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune, sometimes it can talk about karma. Um, it can talk about um, circumstances changing. But in this case, with the Justice card following it, okay, this is definitely... What you put out, the energy that you put out is going to return to you. So for those of you who have been putting out good energy out there, you've been clear to the universe, to God, to your spirit guides, to whoever your higher power is. You've been clear about what it is that you want. You've put the energy out there. You put the request out there. Your actions are aligning with it. Okay, your actions are aligning with finding the love that you want. Then you are going to be getting this. Uh oh, my phone just went off. I hope nobody calls me <laughs> during this. Okay, so you're going to be getting back what you put out. So right now, what you need to think about is, do I deserve the person I'm with? If you're with somebody, those of you who are single, you're going to be getting um, the energy that you put out is going to be coming back to you. So pay attention to the people that are coming your way that are trying to date you. And um, if they match your frequency okay if they are in alignment with what you want if you don't have to try to be like bob the builder and make them what you want like they should come to you pretty much already uh for the most part what you need you shouldn't have to work on them okay um then that's how you're going to know that's right for you and that person is coming for some of you for those of you who are in a relationship um you may want to Think about, do you deserve the person you're with, okay? If you feel like this person matches your energy, matches your frequency, um, then okay, you might be fine. If you feel like, okay, this person is out all night and I don't know where they're at, they don't call uh, often enough, um, they take too long to return <laughs> my text, they ghost me every once in a while, I don't deserve this, okay? That's probably not the person for you then. So it's about you, you getting what you deserve. If you put bad energy out there, <laughs> some people don't believe in karma. Okay, so if you don't, then I guess this reading is not for you. But if you put bad energy out there, um, pay attention to that too. Is the person you're with mirroring you? So I'm getting in this reading, you get what you put out, you get what you deserve, okay? So if you know you've been putting out good energy and you've been doing the work to be in alignment with getting somebody who meets your needs, then understand that when other people are coming to you and they don't meet your needs, they're just test. They're just, um, you know, the universe or your higher power or even a lower power, okay? A lower entity testing you to see, is she going to fall for this? Is he going to fall for this? They said they want this, but I'm going to send them this wrapped in a nice little, I'm going to send them what they don't want, but I'm going to wrap it in a nice package. Are they going to fall for it? Or are they going to understand, nope, I said what I wanted. This is not what I wanted, so I'm going to wait for what I want. Okay, so we have the angel of love. Okay, so some of you, what I'm what I'm seeing here, some of you are going to be finding um, the person that is exactly what you want is going to be coming to you. We have the woman holding a coin, door door to spirit, <laughs> door to spirit. Okay, nothing will come of the situation, and don't let pride get in your way. For some of you with this High Priestess card and this Door to Spirit card, 
Some of y'all know that you're with somebody who is not the person for you. This is not your ideal person. You know this is not the person that's meant for you. But some of you might be in a situation where you don't want to let this, the relationship go or the person go because you don't want to deal with what other people may say. You don't want to be a failure. Um, you don't want other people to talk about, okay, I knew that wasn't going to work. I told them that wasn't going to work. Like You don't want to give your haters something else to talk about. You cannot worry about that. You cannot live your life like that. You cannot live your life for other people and be happy. <laughs> okay? If, if it's time, if you know you've been getting a gut feeling and you know it's time for this person to go, sometimes people are not meant to be with us forever. They have a certain purpose. They, they're there for a season and we're supposed to let them go. So if you know that you need to let this person go, don't let your pride get in the way like this card is saying. Uh, some of you could be Leos um, in a significant place in your birth chart or the person you're dealing with might be a Leo because we do have the lion here and here. Um, but other than that, lions do represent pride. So don't let your pride get in the way. Don't hold on to something that's not going to work. You know it's not going to work. Your intuition is telling you it's not going to work. Your spirit guides are telling you it's not going to work. Just let it go because once you let it go, you will have the abundance that you want when it comes to love. You will have the wish fulfillment that you want when it comes to love. But like I was saying with the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles represents Blockage is being removed. You have to get rid of anything that's a blockage right now. For those of you who have already done this, then you have this angel of love coming. You have this wish fulfillment. You have this mutually beneficial relationship where both people... I guess I should say all parties involved now because <laughs> it's a lot going on with relationships these days. Sometimes it's more than two people, okay? All parties involved are going to be putting in the work to make sure this relationship works, okay? We have communicate clearly. Okay, so for some of y'all, this is talking about to your spirit guides, to God, to the universe, divine, the most high, whoever you call him or her or it by. Communicate clearly to them about what you want and make sure your actions are in alignment. Our actions are communication as well. So if we're praying for something, if we're manifesting something and our actions are not lining up with that, we are not communicating clearly with the universe or our higher power about what it is that we want. So they're confused, okay? They're saying they want this person. They're saying they want this these qualities in a person, but they're with this person who doesn't have the qualities that they want. They actually have a lot of the qualities that are on their um, deal breaker list, for example. So I'm confused why they asking me for this, but they, they clearly want this based on their actions. So communicate clearly with your spirit guides, okay? With your actions, your words, or however it is you manifest or pray. Because they're really reacting for the most part based on what it is that we're asking for. Some things are out of our control. Some things might be um i guess destined or they were written in our soul contracts before we reincarnated so you know some things may have to happen a certain way but for the most part they are doing what we ask <laughs> or what our actions are asking for so you don't want to confuse them with what it is that you want so that's what i'm getting from the communicate clearly we have the improving health card so for like i was saying for some of you things are going to be going a lot better in your love life um so whenever you see this reading it should be getting better in your love life or it should be happening pretty soon if this is meant for you okay so we also have the red rose hidden secrets um, three things cannot be long hidden. The sun, the moon, and the truth. Okay? So, this High Priestess card. Some of you might be finding out some things about somebody you're dealing with that you 
didn't know but i'm still feeling that you had some sort of feeling you had some sort of gut feeling that something fishy was going on with this person but you may not have had proof okay with this ace of pentacles for some of y'all that clarity is coming okay and then it's up to you to react accordingly we have the dignity card okay now pride is good sometimes dignity is good sometimes but you want to make sure it's balanced so you don't want to have so much of it that you stay in a situation that you really need to get out of because you are afraid of how other people are going to react or how it's going to look to people outside of yourself if you're in an organization if you're in a particular religion or something where they look down upon getting divorced or you're not with the person that you have kids with something like that make sure you're not staying with somebody for those prideful reasons but have enough dignity for yourself that you are not that you are able to leave the situation because you do have dignity in yourself so i believe that there's a difference between pride and dignity um so this says a wise man has dignity without pride okay there we go a wise man has dignity without pride a fool has pride without dignity okay so don't get them confused understand the difference between the two because we do need to have dignity when we are in relationships. But pride is something that can get us in trouble, okay? We have prosperity and compassion. Okay, so what I'm getting with this card, prosperity and compassion. Hold on one second. My son is asking me to open his water bottle. <laughs> Here. Okay, put it in the refrigerator. Thank you. Okay, so we have prosperity and compassion. So the and is speaking out to me because a lot of the times we feel like, like some of you may have heard, if you get with somebody and they have a lot of money, uh, you get with a rich man, you're going to have to deal with X, Y, Z. You're going to have to shut your mouth. You cannot speak against them you have to agree with everything they say you're going to just be a trophy like you know so we kind of sometimes assume that we have to deal with certain negative behaviors from a person just because they are financially stable and they might be um financially taking care of us so for some of you you might be staying in a situation because you don't want to change your lifestyle okay that kind of comes with the pride also but understand that you will be able to meet people who are prosperous and abundant, but also compassionate as well. So if you're with somebody and they are financially supportive, that's why I was saying this pinnacle was sticking out. Like they have the pentacle, but they don't have the other elements that you need. Understand that it doesn't have to be one or the other. Either I'm going to get a rich person or I'm going to get a compassionate person. You can get somebody that has both, okay? We have the girl with the snake, empath, and narcissist paradigm. Okay, so that's what I was just talking about. You don't have to deal with a narcissist just because they're financially stable. You should be able to find somebody that's financially stable but also compassionate as well. We have the mask, not showing true feelings. Um, delude, gaslighting, so that's just talking about narcissistic behavior again and also finding out something about somebody not them not being their true self sorry gemini's my camera overheated where was i where was i okay i think i was talking about the girl with the snake and the mask so basically some of you are going to be finding out that somebody has not been completely forthcoming with you uh, they may have been holding back secrets. Um, you may have met the representative and their true colors are starting to come out. Um, so we also have talking. Interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives. So for some of you, like I said, you're, you are going to be meeting somebody who uh, meets your expectations. Okay, so you may start to get 
more and more people that are interested in you, more and more people that are asking you out on dates. So it's just up to you to make sure that these people are checking off most of the boxes because it's, I'm not going to say all of the boxes because that might be too much <laughs> nobody's perfect okay but you want to find the person that's perfect for you so for some of you you are going to be seeing more traction in your love life and then we have the lightning sudden change shocking news surprise transformation upheaval for some of you this transformation like i said is going to be more traction moving in a more positive direction starting to see people that have more and more of the qualities that you want that are interested in you and for some of you you're going to be having this upheaval situation where you're going to find out some things about somebody but i don't feel like this is brand new like extremely shocking i feel like you knew something was up but you couldn't quite put your finger on it or you needed proof of something so you might be getting proof of some suspicion that you may have had okay um so again i think the key thing to remember here is you should sorry somebody just whenever they ride past with loud music that distracts me i think the key thing that you should remember here is getting back what you put out there so a lot of you are getting back the energy that you put out there. So pay attention to the energy you're putting out. Pay attention to your actions. Are your actions in alignment with what you are asking for? For some of you, they are. You are going to be getting what you want. You're going to be getting your wish fulfillment. For some of you, you may have to go back to the drawing board and you may have to reevaluate a situation that you are currently in. All right. So. I hope this resonated with you. If it did, please feel free to let me know in the comment section. Um, if it didn't, of course, you can check out one of the readings for your other signs. And if you feel called to do so, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Bye!